reproduction in animals introduction the functions of the body of a living organism are regulated by two major control systems the nervous system and the hormonal or endocrine system reproduction is a part of the endocrine system hence the hormones are involved a hormone is a chemical substance that is secreted into the body fluids by one cell or a group of cells that exerts a physiological control affecting other cells of the body the process by which living organisms produce new living organisms of their own kinds and life continues on the earth is called reproduction it is because of reproduction that a particular species of plants or animals continues its existence on the earth reproduction helps in continuity of life increasing the population of any species and evolution of most favorable variations in their bodies over a period of time reproduction may take place by either of the following methods asexual reproduction one parent is involved sexual reproduction two parents male and female are involved asexual reproduction in asexual reproduction only one parent is involved asexual reproduction takes place through budding binary fission spore formation or fragmentation binary fission when one mature unicellular organism splits into two individuals the process is called binary fission the parent nucleus divides into two nuclei the cytoplasm divides into two parts each containing a nucleus a constriction develops in the body which deepens to form two new individual bodies budding in this kind of reproduction a small outgrowth or bulb like projection called bud appears on the body of the organism the nucleus of the parent body divides into two and one nucleus goes into the bud the bud grows and finally detaches from the parent body to grow into a young individual since new individuals develop from a bud like in hydra this kind of reproduction is called budding in corals and sponges buds do not separate out but remain attached to the parent organism they grow to full size and reproduce again and again producing a colony besides these two processes there are other methods of asexual reproduction about which you will study in the higher classes sexual reproduction like plants the reproductive parts in animals also produce gametes that fuse to form a zygote it is the zygote that develops into a new individual this type of reproduction beginning from the fusion of male and female gametes is called sexual reproduction most of the animals reproduce sexually sexual reproduction takes place by the fusion of male and female reproductive cells the male reproductive cell is called the sperm while the female is the ovum when the male and female reproductive cells fuse a zygote is formed the process of fusion of sperm and ovum is called fertilization of the egg fertilization may be either external or internal external fertilization involves the fusion of male and female gametes outside the body of the female example of such fertilization is the one taking place in frog and fish internal fertilization 
takes place inside the body of the female partner such fertilization takes place in mammals insects reptiles in some fish and birds sexual reproduction in humans both the parents are involved in this type of reproduction male and female have different types of reproductive organs the male reproductive system the human male reproductive system is shown below the various parts of the male reproductive system are testes each male has two testes that are oval in shape they lie within the scrotum which is a sac like structure outside the abdominal cavity testes is composed of a large number of coiled seminiferous tubes where the sperms are formed epididymis the sperms empty into the epididymis another coiled tube the aging and maturation of sperms take place here the epididymis leads into the vas deferens vas deferens sperm duct this duct starts from epididymis and enters the abdominal cavity and both these ducts meet each other behind urinary bladder from this point they continue as urethra urethra sperms mix with the fluid secreted by seminal vessels and prostates which provide nourishment to them this combined fluid is called semen the urethra is the last connecting link from testes to the exterior the urethra is supplied with mucus derived from the large bilateral bulbourethral gland located near the beginning of urethra penis urethra opens into a muscular structure called the penis penis has a rich supply of blood vessels and erectile tissues which cause stiffness in the penis penis is the common way out for the urine as well as the semen an average human male starts producing sperms at the age of around 14 to 15 years the female reproductive system the female reproductive system has the following organs ovaries each female has two ovaries situated in the abdominal cavity one mature ovum is produced every 4 weeks from either of the ovaries fallopian tube oviduct it is a thin coiled muscular tube that joins the uterus and the ovary it passes the ova into the uterus by its ciliary action uterus it is a broad muscular chamber that receives the ovum the fertilized zygote grows into the foetus here vagina vagina is a wild muscular tube into which the uterus finds its way females attain sexual maturity at 11 to 12 years of age at this age they start producing ovum fertilization in humans in human beings fertilization occurs inside the female body when the ovum meets the sperm it gets fertilized into a zygote the fertilization occurs in the mid portion of the fallopian tube only fertilized ova reaches the uterus after fertilization the zygote fixes itself to the wall of the uterus and starts developing as an embryo this process is known as implantation the period during which the embryo develops inside the body of a female is termed as gestation period artificial fertilization test tube babies if the oviduct of a woman is blocked she will not be able to bear a baby this is because 
it prevents the ovum from being fertilized as the sperms can't reach the oviduct where the ovum is present this problem can be solved if the ovum is fertilized with human sperms in the laboratory with a technology called in vitro fertilization in this technique the doctor collects the released eggs and sperms and fuses them together in vitro fertilization here the fertilization occurs outside the body of the female in case the fertilization occurs the zygote is allowed to develop for about a week the zygote is then placed in the uterus of the mother the embryo gets implanted and develops into a baby in about 9 months babies born through this technique are called test tube babies this technique is quite useful when natural fertilization fails it was first introduced successfully in humans in 1978 in vitro fertilization in in vitro fertilization ivf the eggs are produced under local anesthesia by aspirating follicles under ultrasound control they are then incubated with freezed sperms and transferred to the growth medium development of an embryo fertilization results in the formation of a zygote which begins to develop into an embryo the zygote divides repeatedly and begins to form group of cells which develop into different tissues and organs of the body this developing structure is known as embryo after reaching the uterus the developing ovum remains in the uterine cavity for additional 4 to 5 days before it implants in the endometrium which means that implantation ordinarily occurs on the 7th or 8th day following ovulation during this time the ovum obtains its nutrition from the endometrial secretions known as uterine milk the embryo gradually develops body parts such as hands legs head eyes ears etc the stage of the embryo in which all the body parts can be identified is called a foetus when the foetus is fully developed the mother gives birth to a baby metamorphosis newborn mammals and newly hatched birds have similar shape and structure as their parents however it is not true for the entire animal kingdom a frog mosquito or butterfly have different stages of development between hatching of the eggs and formation of the individual a frog passes through three stages during its development from an egg to an adult frog in mosquito when the eggs hatch a worm like larva comes out of each egg in about 2 weeks it changes into an encased form called pupa the pupa changes into a mosquito inside the case and in about a week the mosquito comes out of the case butterflies and moths also pass through the larva and pupa stages before they develop into a winged adult this process of change in which a larva is transformed into an adult is called metamorphosis viviparous and oviparous animals some animals give birth to young ones after embryo develops inside the female body they are called viviparous animals example the mammals those animals which lay eggs and the development of embryo takes place outside the female body are called oviparous animals example birds snakes crocodiles etc in some oviparous animals 
such as hen embryo develops differently after fertilization the zygote divides repeatedly and travels down the oviduct and many protective layers are formed around it after the hard shell is formed around the embryo the hen lays the egg the hen then sits on the egg to keep it warm development of the chick takes place inside the shell it takes about 3 weeks for the embryo to develop into a chick the chick now comes out by breaking the 